Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. And here's the very first step. Let's go ahead and identify our top part by just putting these brackets. So this is going to be our numerator and this bottom part is going to be our denominator. Let's look at the numerator part. This one I have just copied it down on the right hand side and let's go ahead and simplify these two fractions. We're going to add them by using a crisscross method by multiplying crisscross, just cross multiplication. Let's do that one. So we're going to multiply 1 times x minus 3. That is going to give us 1 times x minus 3 is going to be simply x minus 3 and let's do the other way around and we're going to multiply this 3 times x plus 1 that is going to give us plus 3x and then plus 3 times 1 is 3 divided by let's focus on these two denominators this one x plus 1 and x minus 3 let's multiply them out so that is going to give us x plus 1 time x minus 3. So that's our top part negative 3 and positive 3 they are gone so on the numerator we're going to have x plus 3 is going to make 4x divided by x plus 1 time x minus 3. 3. Let's focus on our original equation. The top part of this left hand side could be replaced by this part 4x. So I'm going to write down 4x divided by x plus 1 time x minus 3. Now let's focus on the denominator part. This one I have just copied it down on the right hand side let's go ahead and simplify that one as well by using a crisscross method so let's go ahead and start working on that one if we multiply 2 times x plus 1 we are going to get 2x plus 2 and now we are going to multiply the other way around so this is we have a negative 1 okay be careful with this a negative 1 times x minus 3 when we multiply negative 1 because of this negative sign so that is going to give us a negative 1x negative 3 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 3 and at the denominator we are just going to multiply these denominators just multiply them out so we are going to get x minus 3 times x plus 1. All right, on the top, as we can see, 2x minus x is going to give us 1x, and 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 divided by x minus 3 times x plus 1. So our this denominator part, the could be written as this part we just simplified that one out we are going to replace that one I can write x plus 5 divided by x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 17 over 19 now in the next step we are going to simplify these fractions by using this fact over here the rule the rule says if we have a over b divided by c over d then this is the rule okay this outsider the extreme exteriors we multiply a times d is going to be on the top and then these interior b times c is going to be at the denominator Likewise, we are going to do this one. These outside, the exterior, I am going to multiply these one out first and they're going to be on the numerator. Let's go ahead and do this one. So I can write 4x times x minus 3 times 
x plus 1 divided by we are going to multiply the interior the insiders let's go ahead and that one so that is going to give us x plus 1 time x minus 3 times x plus 5 equals to the right hand side is 17 over 19 and now as we can see that this x plus 1 cancels out this x plus 1 this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3 so we are simply ended up with 4x on the numerator divided by x plus 5 at the denominator equals to 17 over 19. Now let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of the space. I just copy down this equation right up here and let's simplify that one by just simply crisscross method. So let's crisscross, cross multiply. So that is going to give us, if we multiply 4x times 19, that is going to give us 76x equal to, if we multiply the other way around, 17 times x plus 5, that is going to give us 17x plus 85. Let's move this 17x on the left hand side so we're going to have 76x and this become negative 17x equal to 85 and that is on the left hand side that is going to give us 59x equals to 85 let's isolate x by dividing 59 on both side so this 59 and 59 is gone, so x turns out to be 85 over 59. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 85 over 59. That is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.